Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to use Ossias in Dorico Pro 2, the advanced music notation software from Steinberg. Ossias are additional staves of music that appear for a limited period above or below an instrument's existing staff. They can be used to show alternative passages that can be played instead of the music on the primary staff, they can display full realizations of ornaments or editorial differences and deviations between conflicting sources. Adding an osseo is as simple as making a selection in your music, right-clicking and choosing Staff, Add Ossia Above or Below. The osseo staff is added for the duration of the selection. When signposts are set to show, which you can control via the View Signposts menu, You'll see one at each end of the Ossia region, indicating the presence of the additional staff. You can drag these signposts to modify the start and end positions of the Ossia, and they don't need to be aligned to bar lines. You can select the signposts and press delete to remove the Ossia. This doesn't actually delete the music. If you add an Ossia staff at the same position at a later date, the music will still be there. For grand staff instruments such as a piano, selecting both staves will create a grand staff ossia. There are several options available for ossias. Let's start with the layout options, which we can open by pressing Ctrl Shift L. That's Command Shift L on Mac. Select the Staves and Systems category and scroll down to the Ossias and Extra Staves section. Here we can choose whether osseas will be shown for the selected layout in the sidebar. By default, osseas are shown in all layouts, though you might at times find it appropriate to hide them in the full score. You can also display a label before each osseo. By default, that will display the word osseo, though you can choose your own text if you prefer. You can also set the appearance of osseas at the beginning of systems, choosing whether or not to show the clef and key signature. In fact, you can set this on a case-by-case -case basis by selecting the signpost at the beginning of the osseo and activating the property to show the preamble. Back in layout options, now looking at the vertical spacing category, there is a new ideal gap option for osseo staves. Though, of course, Dorico will still move the staves apart automatically to make room for music items. So now let's take a look at the available engraving options for osseas, which will apply to every layout. We can open the dialog by pressing Ctrl Shift E, that's Command Shift E on Mac. And there are several options relating to osseas, again, found in a couple of different places. Firstly, select the Staves page in the sidebar. Here, we can set the scale factor of Ossia staves. By default, they will draw at two-thirds the size of regular staves. And you can set the position of the labels we were adding in layout options. You can also set how much staff lines extend beyond the start and end of mid-bar Ossias. There are also several options for managing bar lines on Ossia staves. They are found towards the end of the bar lines page. You can choose whether or not to display bar lines at the beginning or end of your osseas, and also whether to join osseas to the main staff with bar lines, which can be dotted if you so wish. I very much hope you found this video helpful. If you have, just for me, please click the thumbs up button below. That lets me know you've liked it. And subscribe to our Dorico channel right now to see many more videos like this one. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.